very simple stuff. We look at the charts, open interest, and the FIDI data of that day to figure out what the market is likely to go in the next couple of days. We only analyze Nifty and Bank Nifty in this. We think stocks don't exactly follow technicals. We think stocks are easy to manipulate. We don't want to gamble. We only want to look at things which are easy to predict with multiple sources of data. So on that prelude, let's get started with what we said yesterday and what will happen now. Now, yesterday we had said that there are two possibilities that can happen in the market. And we thought bullishness was more likely, but of course we were wrong in that. So here's the first thing, right? Um, there is a possibility that we highlighted two possibilities. One, of course, was that the market can cross the middle of the channel and go like this. The other possibility we said this that market could take resistance from the middle of the channel and go like this, right? The second one has played out, but we expected first was more likely and we had qualified that for that reason yesterday, that market is likely to go higher if this sustains, but it did not sustain and it came down and we qualified with the sustain. Why? Because there was a middle of the channel resistance, of course, which was playing out. Uh, the chart were looking positive. Option chain was inconclusive. FI data was actually kind of bullish, uh, but the market had a different story to tell. Now let's look at what is happening in the markets right now. Now straight up, what is unmistakable is that there is a channel here, but Nifty has given a bearish engulfing candle, right? This is a bearish engulfing candle, which means if market is able to close below today's close tomorrow, then there will be a third negative candle, right? So what is bearish engulfing? Uh, one candle which completely engulfs the previous candle, right? So basically there are multiple things here. One middle of the channel is a resistance. That is a zone of value where you short. The second is the confirmation candle, which is a bearish engulfing, uh, which says there is selling. Now, if tomorrow's close is below today's close, then potentially we can have more downside. This channel can break and we might just go and test even let's say uh, 21,000, right? Now this is a, let's see till where it can go. Yeah, we can potentially test much lower levels of 21,000 or something if market is able to break this newly formed, very incipient channel, very nascent channel, right? So uh, this is point number one. Now, if you again look at Bank Nifty, Bank Nifty gave a solid uh, bearish Marubozu today. So that's uh, obviously negative. And so I'm struggling to find a trend in bank nifty but uh, if i were to let's see if we can form any channel or something right i mean if nifty follows a channel normally we should be able to find a channel in bank nifty too but that is simply not happening so if you're watching this and you can find a channel uh, please do let me know where is the bank nifty channel but i don't think this is a channel but Bank Nifty has given a solid negative candle. So let's let's write both of this down. Ninth Jan. Nifty forming a bearish engulfing. Approaching the bottom of the channel if taken out we can see more downside right now if you look at option chain sorry if you look at bank nifty again bearish marubozu now let's look at option chain Option chain, I'll be very surprised if it's anything other than where here. Yeah, all around put unwind, all around call selling, massive shorts at 21,600. Um, overall, the option chain's color looks like 600 and 700 are huge resistances. There is not much support. So let's write that down. 21,600 plus is a major resistance. No supports to be seen. And as if that is not enough, PCR is also low. 
0.7 but if you take the overall pcr it is 0.61 which is kind of in proper bearish territory so in case you are new here you can change the settings of pcr take 5 strikes take 10 strikes take 15 strikes so if you take 20 strikes pcr is very low it's actually 0.6 if i take the strikes from 20500 but we don't do that we normally take 5 strikes because this is a relevant thing Now let's look at option data, which is depressing because retail FI sold calls, 2.6 lakh calls, that is huge. And they bought puts 2.5 L puts, that's again huge, right? This is like massive. This is meltdown level bearish bets. And as if that was not enough, they also sold futures. So sold futures, sold calls, bought puts. FI is bearish on everything. Pro is actually pretty bearish on uh, options because they sold 5 lakh calls and they bought around 7000 puts so 7000 puts buy is nothing now this is a depressing part retail bought 8 lakh call options this cannot end well right so let's write all of that out FII massive call selling and put buying well well Right, both 2L plus. So, massive call selling 5L. Retail, I mean, I, I want to say client, but let's just go with retail, right? Because that's what people relate to more. Technically, it is client. Retail, 8L calls buy and around 2L puts sell, puts buy, right? How much have they sold? Around 2L puts sell. 2L puts buy, sorry. I, so this is uh, bearish this is also bearish and because the retail is bearish market is expected to be sorry because retail is bullish so market is supposed to, market will be bearish or should i i'll just say bullish market expected to go down because retail usually gets it wrong right let me quickly see some comments. Ami was saying last week retail won by being bullish. No, they did not win actually. Because from the point where they bought calls, it was actually uh, negative. So somebody saying if I sold puts, if... Oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. My mistake. Uh, put selling. This is not buying, sorry. Selling. But there is a difference which is... 2.6 L and 2.3 L. So net net around 30 K they are bullish. So they are uh, net net 30 K bearish. So this is moderately bearish. This is very bearish and retail is very bullish. So market is expected to go down, right? Uh, If I sold put, sorry, I'm uh, now let's go to futures, right? What has FI done in futures? FI has actually trimmed OI in both calls and put, by the way. Um, let's see what retail has done. I think I know what retail has done. They have averaged their. Yeah, this is the problem, right? Yesterday they were short calls. Now they have huge long on calls, right? This is not going to end well. Pro again, they are short calls big time. So basically, FI is kind of out of the game because they neither have calls nor have puts. This is a very tiny uh, that you're seeing. But look at client, right? Client is sitting on mega calls. That's not going to end well. And pro is short not going to end well so if you look at now let's look at uh, history right uh, to find out the call so if i sold uh, 1500 crores today that is not nice and 
that obviously means their OI has dropped from 76k to like 58k. That's a significant drop in OI. This is very bearish. This is actually quite bearish. Now let's look at stocks. Stocks me to kuch nahi kiya kisi ne. 16 crores, so no activity. Verdict looks like market has turned. Uh, no immediate upside to be seen. Potential downside. Um, watch the channel bottom. I'm not saying that when it hits the channel bottom, don't buy. I'm not saying that you should buy when it hits the channel bottom. I'm saying that watch the channel bottom. There's a possibility that it might give a positive trigger. It, there's a possibility that nothing can happen and it can keep sinking, right? So if at channel bottom you see significant buying activity, support emerging, um, bullish candle forming, etc., then of course you can uh, buy. But if it does not, it might sink significantly. So maybe it's not a good idea to buy now. So ideal thing is to get out of all bullish trades. Uh, and in fact, you can even consider taking bearish bear call spreads uh, of 21700 kind of strikes because as of now, it looks like Nifty is. So it, this is a sell on uptake market. Uh, potentially sell calls on upticks. So if you get an uptick, it might not be a bad idea to sell calls or call spreads. Because as of now, it looks like nobody is buying except retail. As of now, it looks like 21,600 plus is a strong resistance. So selling a 21,600 or above call for this short term expiry might just make sense. But uh, please, this is null and void. Uh, bull call spreads for Jan and might not be a good trade now. And that obviously, I hope to, this morning itself that exit was clear because it was taking resistance at the middle of the channel. So I hope nobody is holding that. Let me quickly go through some user comments, reader, reader, watcher comments. Yesterday, I couldn't digest the upside. Now it's a bit of a sigh for me. Uh, gap up IT company tomorrow, vibrant summit, gift nifty 100 plus big bull rally tomorrow. Uh, user comments, I'm not saying it, sorry. Uh, uh, gift nifty is up. See, the thing is this, right? Um, it doesn't really mean anything because uh, if tomorrow, let's say tomorrow, so if I were trading, which I'm not right now doing, if I get a 40, 50 point up move tomorrow on open, I'll rather short the gap up because uh, this bear, bullish and bearish engulfing is too strong a candle to ignore and that too at a, on the middle of a channel, my worry is that worry from the point of view of bulls and not from my point of view because I got nothing. See, there is a very realistic possibility that we might crack the bottom of the channel. And if that happens, our next stop could very well be in 20,700 territory, which is nothing. It's just 3% down. 3% is not a big deal, but it can happen, right? And in if your leveraged trading derivatives, a 3% downside can significantly hurt. So that's that. Uh, now, as a ritual, we can just look at uh, um, now we can look at uh, dollar. Interestingly, dollar is at the bottom of that range. For the first time in a long time, it, which it has tested only three, four, five times. Now we are again testing 83 levels, but I am not sure if it is tradable because this seems kind of managed. So no trades on dollar right now, given that this is being controlled, right? Uh, Barajal is asking, is there a value in watching if Nifty? Bhai, matlab, 
there's nothing you can do by watching gift nifty right what will you do after seeing it you can't trade singapore and uh, it's just a source of stress and anxiety if you're looking at gift nifty after market uh, close right um cyberpunk if you're 16 my you know so cyberpunk is 16 years old he has been learning trading for 6 months now he is starting fndo cyberpunk uh, i really want a uh, young people to do really well in life right and here's the thing if you're very very young unless you have a lot of leverage which um which basically means that you have a lot of money to trade with it does not really make sense for you to trade because you will not make a lot of money unless you have a lot of trading capital right if i were to give advice to you considering your 16 my only advice would be you are possibly much better off improving your core skill set so if you are a college student you are an engineer please focus on engineering because even if you are eventually going to pursue trading you can become a much better trader by being a really good coder who knows how to write um, you know uh, who knows how to write high quality hft code or system trading etc right uh, if you are somebody who is very young and trying to do so like see no matter what you are doing at 16 you have much much higher luck uh trying to do something which is focusing on your core area also another thing is see there are like very very rare people you take 1 lakh people there will be one person who will make it really big because he started trading very early at 16 or something right but the odds of that being in your favor is fairly low so if you are 16 my advice would be please focus on your main uh story so so yeah that's that right So anyway that is our analysis for today we'll see you again tomorrow thank you so much for joining and as usual please take care and keep your capital safe long story short verdict there could be downside so if you're trying to be long maybe not a good time to do that market is always here you can always get a long once you get a confirmation so if nifty goes down and takes support here or takes support here you can always do the long play here right don't take a long just because it is approaching the bottom of the channel or a support level take a long trade only if you see a bounce like um, you know take a long trade only if you see like a hammer forming here or a hammer hammer forming here or something or even wherever you are if you see a hammer forming or this bearish engulfing getting invalidated then you can think of taking longs but at this point it's not a good idea to take a long it seems to be short seems to be the way to go right so again this is your this is uh, our analysis for today we'll see you again tomorrow and as usual please take care and keep